All right. Good morning. It's Monday. My Monday started at 3 a.m. this morning because of snow. God has storehouses of snow. That's what pays my bills. So thank you, Lord, for the snow. 3 a.m. <laughs> I'll get back to thanking you about that later after I get some sleep. But I'm not here to... The Yiddish word of the day is kvetching. I am kvetching, but not complaining, but like, hey, 3 a.m., kind of early, but we'll deal with it. It'll be all right. So it's my lunch break. Got a quick second, and uh, I'm thinking I want to give you a weapon. Actually, it's Jesus who's going to give you a weapon. And uh, it's Matthew 4.4, 4. and uh, it is written... And that's what I'm getting at is when it is a weapon against Satan and a weapon against this world and not a carnal weapon, not a 44, 45, 357 or a slingshot pea shooter or anything. It is a weapon of the spirit. Let me get these things out of my ears. And the way it works is that our weapons are not carnal but mighty through God for the tearing down of strongholds. Uh, casting down vain imaginations and to whooping Satan and so I was here to help you whoop Satan Jesus whooped Satan my job is to get you to Jesus and the way Jesus whooped Satan is the way we win and it is by his victory that we have the ultimate victory and what I'm just thinking about because we all Peter says don't be surprised by the fiery trial that's coming upon you because it ain't nothing new it's it is like we're gold and God allows us to get melted and the impurities come up in us uh, weakness fear doubt anxiety blah 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 but it's not that he's enjoying those things it is that when they come to the surface in our own mind heart will and emotions uh, mind, mind heart and emotions it is our will that takes over where we will to say the word of God and not speak and believe what we think and feel from our past. And Jesus, when he was tempted by Satan in the desert, he was drawn into the desert, into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit after he was, after he was baptized. And when Satan came and tempted him to do evil, uh, it was turning bread into stone to jump off a pinnacle from the temple and to worship him. One was to uh, satisfy, you know, turn the bread into stone or stone into bread, s satisfy his flesh, um, jump off the pinnacle, like because the angels would protect you, the pride of life. And then the third one uh, to worship Satan so that he wouldn't have to go through the cross to receive the world. Well, he's going to take the cross and reappropriate the world in all of us. So I don't know if that's pride of, pride of life, but we'll figure that out. You figure that out. Read for yourself. But I'll give you a little bit something else. to. I'm here to help you whoop Satan. And it's an atomic weapon of destruction against Satan. And that is, it is written. It is the word of God, especially for me. In my opinion, it's the New Testament where we by taking Jesus's words, apply them in our life to get his victory in our lives. So if you're fearful, uh, those that, you know, it's to be the joy of the Lord is our strength and to be, uh, we declare strength over ourselves. You know, the Lord says for us to declare those things that are not yet as though they are. So if you're fearful, you lean on Jesus and declare boldness through his spirit. If you're sick, by Isaiah 53 and 5, by his stripes we're healed. Um, I don't have all the scriptures rolling through my head, but it's really Matthew 4.4 4 is one of the key things that comes to my mind. It is find out for yourself what you need. Find out what is in the need of your life for yourself or your loved ones. If they're on drugs, it is to speak freedom over them. If you're in poverty, 
Now, there's certain rules that apply in our life, like you got to work to eat and work to have money. So, um, if you're poor, and I'm not coming down on you because I was poor, uh, good family, but I just had a bad work ethic. And once I changed my work ethic and aligned myself with the Word of God, I got a job and I got money. So, it is not just saying the Word of God, I realize it is also aligning yourself in action to the Word of God. And that's how we overcome Satan. Uh, if there's demons, it is, uh, we have the authority, you know, because Jesus says, I've given you all authority in heaven and earth to cast out, cast out demons, to trample serpents and over scorpions. Uh, so we're allowed to cast out demons, healing the sick, raising the dead. And uh, it's all in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm not saying you have to know exactly the book, uh, book chapter verse and quote it verbatim i'm not doing it and i've seen i know people who have done amazing miracles just because they called on him and go would you help me and it is faith that moves mountains and if you have an itty bitty little mustard seed of faith that's all it takes to move the mountain and so if you just got a little scripture uh, it moves mountains. Like in my case, I got some kind of rough co-workers and I had a problem with them. And so uh, I didn't want to do this. And I found in the scripture, it's bless those who curse you and pray for those who spitefully use you. I'm like, no, don't want to. But I knew it was right. And it hasn't changed them, but it's changed me. Because then I get to see them as he sees them, not as I see them. And that's cool. And he changes our hearts my opinion this is just my opinion he changes our hearts before he changes anyone else's because we're responsible for ourselves more than anyone else so that's my quick word of you can do it and uh it's cool and if you've had some victories yourself uh let me know i'd be interested in seeing and hearing how god you, you know how you use the word of god in your own life and how he showed up because when he shows up it's cool um, all right, I got to go back, clock in, and uh, hope it doesn't snow anymore so I can get some sleep. And until then, peace. Subs oh, by the way, like Jesus, subscribe. How do I do this? YouTube do things. Like Jesus, subscribe to him. Talk to you later. Bye.